Before we jump into this week's video, we wanted to let you know about this year's Christmas giveaway. We've created an assignment template that we wish we had as students. It will initially be free until the end of December 2022 and will form part of the lifetime template license. To download for free, please visit the description box below and subscribe to our channel if you aren't already doing so. We post a new video every single week. Now, we have covered target cost contracts in previous videos, but here we want to take a closer look at the pain gain mechanism and how it works. Before we do this, it is worth reminding ourselves what a target cost contract is. The basic premise is that the client and contractor agree a target cost for their construction project and then during construction the contractor is paid for the work undertaken on a cost reimbursable basis. These payments are assessed by looking at the contractor's records and accounts, generally on an open book basis where the employer can inspect the actual costs incurred by the contractor to complete the works. So where does pain and gain come in and how is it applied to such a contract? Essentially, the purpose of a pain gain mechanism is to ensure any financial gain or financial loss is shared between the client and contractor using a percentage split agreed at the pre-contract stage. This is calculated by taking the agreed target cost and deducting the actual cost incurred throughout the length of the project. The difference is then split between the parties by the agreed percentages. The agreed target cost may of course increase or decrease due to variations during the project through compensation events. Financial pain or gain is usually calculated once works are complete and reflected in the final payment and final account. Let us work through a practical example together. For this example, we are going to assume that the percentage split between the client and contractor for any financial pain or gain is 50-50. We are going to imagine that a construction project has been tendered for and the target cost has been agreed at 500,000. During construction, it was found that the ground conditions were not as stated in the design documents and concrete was discovered. The additional cost incurred to remove the concrete and make the ground good was £30,000 and this was submitted for and agreed through a compensation event, raising the target cost to £530,000. There were other complications and issues that did not constitute a compensation event and the final actual costs assessed by the client amounted to £590,000. As the actual costs are over the final target cost, including the CEs, the financial pain incurred must be calculated. To do this, you minus the actual cost from the final target cost, leaving £60,000. The 50-50 percentage is then applied. 50% of £60,000 is £30,000. So, in this scenario, the client would pay the contractor an additional £30,000, which is half of their additional costs over and above the target price. For a moment, let us just imagine that rather than the project being £60,000 over the target cost, it came in £60,000 under with a final figure of £470,000. In this scenario, the client would pay £30,000 additional to the client so their final payments would amount to £500,000, despite their costs only being £470,000. The premise behind this type of payment is hoped to incentivise the contractor to bring the project under the target cost as much as practically possible, to achieve a bonus payment for themselves, and it also gives a saving back to the client over their original budget. For more on the pros and cons of a target cost contract, why not check out our Construction Contracts Compared video? We'll pop the link in the description below. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.